<clears throat> Hi everyone. So I'm doing a Google search and they change this every time. So here we have Herbert Kleber. 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 So I'm reading from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Herbert David Kleber, June. 19, 1934 through October 5th, 2018, was an American psychiatrist and substance abuse researcher. His career centered on evidence-based treatment of addiction focused on scientific approaches in place of punishment and moralisms. Early life. <clears throat> Kleber was born June 19, 1934 in Pittsburgh. Both of his parents were Eastern European Jewish immigrants. His father, Max Lieber was a trained pharmacist who made his career in his family owned language manufacturer. His mother, Dothia Schoolman's Kleber, was active in funding fundraising for Israel. Kleber attended Dartmouth College and received medical training at what is now Sydney Kimmel Medical College in Philadelphia. He then served his residency at Yale New Haven Hospital. He entered the US Public Health Service in 1964 and was disappointed when he was assigned for two years to the Health Service Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. Much of the patent population patient population at Lexington were addicts. Programs at Lexington later became the basis for the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Although Kleber wanted a regular psychiatry practice because of experience, his experience at Lexington. He found himself in demand for treatment of addiction when he entered, re-entered to Yale career. In 1968, he funded the Drug Dependence Unit at Yale University where he was a professor of psychiatry. He headed the unit until 1989. He then served for two and a half years as the Deputy Director for Demand Reduction at the Office of National Drug Control Policy in the White House. Kleber's work promoted scientific research into the causes and treatments of addiction. He rejected an earlier command, common moralistic approach to treatment. In 1992, Kleber was with with his wife, Marian Frischman, co-founded the Substance Abuse Division, one of the leading centers in the country for treatment of such abuse. Within the Department of Psychiatry at Columbia University, he was director of the division and headed a number of projects on new methods to treat individuals with cocaine, heroin, prescription, opioids, opioid, alcohol, or marijuana addictions. He also co-founded the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia with Joseph Califano. In 2014, article in Vice said that Kleber served as a paid consultant to the opioid pharmaceutical industry.
Kleber was author or co-author of more than 250 papers and the co-editor of the American Psychiatric Press textbook of substance abuse treatment. Now it's its fourth edition. He received numerous prestigious awards and two honorary degrees. He was elected in 1996 as a member of the Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences. He was on the boards of a number of organizations, including the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, the Treatment Research Institute at the University of Pennsylvania, and the Betty Ford Institute. Personal Life. Kleber married Joanne Fox, his high school sweetheart, in 1956. They raised three children together and later divorced. Kleber then married prominent addiction researcher Marianne Fishman, who died in 2001. He was remarried to Anne Burlock Slover from 2004 until he passed away of a heart attack on October 5th, 2018, while vac vacationing with his family in Greece. In popular culture, in October 1st, 2019, Google honored Kleber by celebrating the 23rd anniversary of his election to the National Academy of Medicine with a Google Doodle. Herbert Kleber from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia.